Mohamed Safari dreads going to work at this Loblaws in Montreal. He says he was forced to make old food look fresh. That's why he secretly recorded his supervisor admitting tampering with best before dates is industry standard. Every store does the same thing. All the other stores do the same at his home, Safari demonstrates what he says is done at work. He takes cheesecakes weeks past their best before dates, adds new toppings, and sells as fresh. I decorate it, and I'm selling expired stuff for $13.99. Oh, look at that one. In a national online call-out, Marketplace hears from grocery workers at smaller stores and big chains, sharing stories of food tampering. Like Zahair did, he used to work in a Toronto area supermarket. He shows us how he was told to give old meat new life. If it's like this, we would um, dabble in a little bit of blood, throw it into the meat mincer with some redder meats, and then all together it would make it look red. And then we'd put it back up on the shelf. At the University of Guelph, a microbiologist simulated what grocery insiders told us they do. He discovered toxins and bacteria linked to serious illness. It goes beyond ethics, doesn't it? It goes to safety and things like that. The Retail Council of Canada says major retailers all have guidelines they follow. Employees are telling us that they're being told from the top down to fudge the best before dates. Right, and so I don't accept that premise. But this Loblaws employee says it's not a premise, it's a fact he raised with management. In a statement to CBC, Loblaws says it's investigating and plans to take action. Until things change, though, the old food safari says he was ordered to dress up just goes one place. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.